the correct two decimal places the area of each of the following triangles or the lengths of the sides. So lads, anytime you have a situation where you know two lengths, so see the way I know the 16 and the 20, and see the way I know the angle in between, there's a rule we use or a formula. So area of a triangle is a half AB sine C. So essentially what you're doing is a half blank times blank sine blank. And you're gonna use this every time. So A can be 16 or 20, it doesn't matter which one you choose. B is the other length, 20. And C has to be the angle that's in between them. Then you go to your calculator, make sure it's in degrees mode, which means it says D. You do a half A by B, which is gonna be 16 times 20. Then sine 30. And what you get is 80. So this is going to be 80 units, uh, so 80 centimeters squared. Because it says there in square centimeters. So that's question one done. Now we're going to move on to question two. And question two, we're going to do the exact same technique. A could be five or B could be eight. Somebody else might come along and say, uh, I don't know, B is five and A is eight. It doesn't matter. The main thing is that the angle is 65. So that's 65 there. A is 8. B is 5. Throw that into the calculator. So it's going to be uh, 65 for the sine part. It's going to be 5 here. 8 here. And lo and behold, you get 18.126. And once it's two decimal places, so it's going to be 18.13 because 126 rounds up to 130. So 18.13. So, all right, you guys. Now, so that's questions one and two done. Now we're moving on to question four. Now the problem with question four is, is that we know the lengths of, uh, we know the lengths of these red ones here. So we know the red one here and the red one here. And what we'd usually use is a half AB sine C. So a half blank times blank sine C. Now here's the problem. We can use a half A times six, no butter. A is 8, B is 6, but we don't know the angle that's in between them. So what to find the angle in between them, we have to do 180, take away the 64, take away the 72. It'll be 180, take away 64, take away 72. And you get 44 degrees there. Okay, so that's 44 degrees. So now it's a half, 8 times 6, sine 44. Put all that into your calculator. So it's going to be a half, eight times six, sin 44, 16.67 to two decimal places, okay? So 16.67 centimeters squared. Okay, so we did one, two, and four so far. Now we're on to five, one, two, and four. Now question five is the same thing, a half, A, B, sine C. Now, what you might be inclined to saying is, uh, sir, they didn't give me two sides. They only gave me uh, one side. Well, there's a trick here. The trick here is this is an isosceles triangle where 54 is looking at, 54 degrees looks at this side and 54 degrees also looks at this side. It means both sides have to be 10 degrees, or sorry, a length of 10 centimeters each. The third angle is going to be 180 degrees because we're trying to find this black angle here because that's the angle that the, the, the 10, the two 10s are sandwiched in between. So it's gonna be 180, take away 54, take away another 54. And what you get there is 72. Okay, so it's gonna be a half, 10 times 10. And remember the angle in between the two 10s is the 72. So it's a half, 10 times 10, so I'm 72. Sine 72. 
and you get 47.55 centimeters squared. Okay, so that's one, two, four, five done. Now we're on to question 12. Now, question 12 is a different type of question where they give us three lengths. So X, Y is the longest length. Y to Z is another, is a, is another long length of length 11. And then what's it there? X, Z is nine. So get this, all right? So what we have here is X to Y. So call that X, call this Y. That's 14. Y to Z, so obviously I drew it the wrong way. Y to Z is 11. And finally, X to Z is nine. Now guys, what we have here is three lengths, okay? And when you have three lengths, there's a special formula for doing this. So you have this formula A equals S, S minus A, S minus B, and finally S minus C. And then it tells us that S equals A plus B plus C, all divided by two. So the formula for this one is S equals A plus B plus C over two. Now what A, B, and C is, is A, B, and C is any of the three sides you want them to be. One person could do it this way. The next person could have it in completely different order, like so. Whichever way you do it, it's okay. So we first of all calculate our S value. Our S value is going to be 11 plus 14 plus 9, all divided by 2. So what's that? It's going to be 34 divided by 2 because it's, uh, what's it, 25 plus 9. So it's going to be 17. Our S value is going to be 17, okay? Now what the S value can then do is you put in your S values like so. So it's going to be 17, 17 take away A, 17 take away whatever B is, and 17 take away whatever. C is and what this formula will do is it will give you the uh, it will give you the value for the area so no bother you just fill it out like so and then what you should get is you press your square root sign you go 17 17 take away 11 which we all know is 6 you could put the 6 to everyone's 17 take away 14 and then next bracket is 17 take away 9 all in and you get 12 root 17 otherwise known as 46 49.48 what does the question want from me calculate the area so area is 49.48 and what's it measured in centimeters squared so that's one two four five and twelve one two four five and twelve now I'm doing 14. Okay, so in this triangle, we have a triangle ABC. So I'm just gonna write down generic sides A, B, and C. A to C can be 14, which is this length here. Uh, the angle BAC, so the central letter is the most important. That means the angle B to A to C is 40 degrees. It's always the central letter. A, B, C is 70 degrees. Now, we're gonna find out what the third angle is. So you get 180 take away 40 take away 70, and you get another 70 degrees. This now means that this is an isosceles triangle. So if the 70 degrees looks at the 14, then the other 70, 70 degrees must look at the other 14. So now we have two 14s, and we can use a half AB sine C. So it's gonna be a half uh, 14 times 14 sine 40 so a half 14 times 14 sine 40 and we get is 62.99 or 63 uh, meters squared Okay, that's handy enough, and that's us done with those questions.